like soft. I like, uh, you know, I like Miller High Life's in the studio. You know, I like people around because I, because I'm big on energy. Like I'm big on feedback. You know, if I'm in the studio recording, you know, I'm gonna ask who's in the room what you think. What do you think about it? So what you think about this ad lib right here? What you think this music echo? Do you think, you know, I'm always constantly wanting feedback. I want the energy from people because that's how hits are created. You know, most hits are not created. You just go in the studio, record yourself, and it's a hit. Like it takes multiple sessions take multiple opinions to make a hit. So when I'm in a student environment, I definitely like to be high, I like to be, you know, I like to be in my zone, I like to be, you know, drinking on something, I like to have my team around when we make our joints. I mean, I think I really got my own lane, because the thing about me is, you know, if, if a situation was to pop off, you know, I don't really think I need to be coached. You know, I don't think I really need a lot of artist development. Not saying a lot of new artists do. I don't really know because I've never been in a session with them. I don't, I don't really know if they've been developed or not. The only thing I hear is their finished product. But I know that dealing with me, you know, I have a certain vision, a certain lane, and a certain sound. You know, being that I'm from North Carolina, like it's a, it's a blend of sounds around here. You know, you got your Charlotte cats that sound like they heavy ATL. You got your Raleigh Durham cats who sound like they boom bap hip hop. You got your Eastern North Carolina cats who sound like Mob Deep. So it's like a blend of different sounds. And I think I'm a good medium between those sounds. Like I can bring you the Southern hits, but then again, I can bring you the storytelling that people need for, you know, the true hip hop game. So, you know, that's where I think I stand. Yo, man, Nerve is like a mentor, man. It's like a big brother to me, man. Like, uh, you know, we had a conversation before I left Winston. Um, I don't even know if I want to put this business out there, but it is what it is. Like, you know, I left Winston, dog. Like, I got evicted, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I came to Raleigh to work on my album. And, you know, I told Nerd, man, like, Nerd, man, I need a job, man. I need somewhere, to, you know what I'm saying, to get money real quick because, you know, I'm moving to Raleigh. You know what I'm saying? It's time to do this music music because at the time you know what i'm saying cold album was about to drop so we all excited like you know cold about to drop this album man you know i'm about to move to raleigh nerve hype i'm hype so we like you cool man we about to do the music so when i moved here that's when nerve automatically took the manager role like it wasn't a sit down talk it wasn't a you know a signed paper agreement or anything it was more like you know i'm your manager and i doubt him ever said i'm your artist so uh it was more like that and then like for the sound Chasing the sound was already, you know, easy because he had some throwaway beats that he thought was old, he thought was wet, that I thought was hot. So I was like, man, you know what I'm saying? We're going to use them joints, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck what you're saying. Man. We're going to use these joints for the album. So, you know, we went back in the catalog and he made some new beats for the album. And then we linked up with Streets to produce some of them up. And, you know, hopefully soon y'all will be able to hear the sound and tell me what y'all think. Yeah, um, you know, it all started out with Nolo. Um, Nolo was the centerpiece of everything, you know. Um, Nolo found us when we was in high school. That was before I went to Jones Senior from New Bern High. But when I was in New Bern High, like, you know, Nolo took me, Major Bucks, and Jay High in, called Frontline. That was my old crew, Frontline. So, you know, he took us in, he molded us, we dropped real niggas hard to find. Then after we dropped the mixtape, that's when Nolo had a cousin by the name of P. Wise who was linked up with All Terrain. He was already in the circle of Nervous Wreck and Bob and all of them. So, you know, that's when I made a trip to Raleigh. And ever since that trip, it was history. You know, I was All Terrain. We came out with the mixtape the next chapter, then I met some extended fam, T Grills, Germ, Filthy, you know what I'm saying? I knew Cole by, uh, by the stuff that he was affiliated with, with Bomb Shelter, you know, and, you know, I just met the fam. And then, uh, but as time went on, that's when Bob, you know, uh, Bob, you know, he made some moves and stuff. Uh, Nerve had actually stopped rapping. So now I was still in school, like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at it like, man, I ain't even trying to give up on music just cause the boys ain't doing music no I man. I ain't about to drop no tunes. So that's why I birthed 24-7 out of that. Even though I know 24-7, you know, that's something that a lot of people have out here, but it's more of a lifestyle, you know, it's more of a way of life. So then I dropped 24-7. I got out with a lot of artists by the name of T. Walker, J. Davidson, AKA J. And we, you know, we made a little buzz out here. We dropped a project called The Master of Ceremony. Day after day hit heavy out here. And then I kind of fell back because I wanted a new sound. And during this time, it goes back to me linking up with Nerve Wreck. And now we running with the movement. Life's grand 24-7. So it's definitely a twist.